Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to turn your plasma cutter into a CNC plasma cutter using this CNC laser engraver. What you're going to need is a 5 volt relay, some connectors that allow you to attach your plasma cutter to your laser CNC machine, and a way to mount your plasma cutting head to your laser engraver. So I did this by just tack welding a hose clamp onto this wall cover plate. Um, I know these welds are atrocious. I'm using a Harbor Freight flux core welder and quite honestly, I don't know what I'm doing, but uh, works well. So let's get into it. The first thing we need to do is make sure that your plasma cutter will work for this project. It needs to be non-high frequency and non-contact. I recommend this one on Timu. The total cost of this project, if you don't have the plasma cutter, is 261 If you already have an appropriate plasma cutter, it's 116 You can also purchase these items on Amazon, but you're going to pay a little bit of a premium. Looks like 168 for just the CNC portion of the build and 438 for with the plasma cutter. I'll have links in the description. Once you have your laser CNC assembled, you're going to cut off the connector that would otherwise plug into the laser engraver and wire it up to this relay with red being in DC positive, black being in DC negative, and white being in IN. On the other side of that relay, you're going to have your connector plugged in on the normally open and calm. doesn't matter black or white which gets plugged in. Next thing you're going to do is disassemble the torch so you can install a plug that will allow the relay to actuate the trigger mechanism on the plasma cutter. This can be done quite simply by installing the leads directly into the trigger mechanism. Next and finally, you need to make sure that there's a hole drilled at the top of the plastic assembly that allows the wires to pass through. Next, we're going to install the mounting plate for the plasma cutting head to mount to the CNC laser engraver. In this next clip, you'll see that the laser engraver is now sitting on a plasma cutting table I made using 3-inch self-tapping screws and a piece of sheet metal. This isn't necessary, but it's highly recommended to build something like this. Okay, on to the build. Now we're going to attach the plasma cutting head to the CNC using the hose cutter. And we're gonna remove the guard from the tip of the plasma cutting head. This allows the plasma cutting head to move freely with proper spacing above the sheet metal we're trying to cut. I use this magnet and coat hanger to control the excess plasma cutting line so that it doesn't get in the way of the CNC machine. Now that we're all set up, let's do a little test run with the plasma cutter not plugged in to the relay. Everything seems to be running smooth. After this clip, I'm gonna show you how we take G-code files and make them work with this CNC plasma cutter. Now that we're at the computer, um, this is kind of how I do it. I create my file in Inkscape. I save it as an SVG. I open up Laser GRBL. I upload the file into Laser GRBL. Once it's uploaded, then we're going to export it as a G-code file. So here's me doing that. Files open. This is where you can set the speed and always leave the power at 1000. So you go file, save advanced, save, and this is how you get the G-code file. Once you're done with that, you're gonna move over to a program called UGS and upload your G-code file. Once the G-code file's uploaded, we have some edits to make. Basically, we need to add a pause before any cutting sequence. 
Cutting sequences show up in G-code as G1, G2, or G3. So right before anywhere where you see a G1, G2, or G3, you're going to go right above it, and you're going to enter G4, P, 0.7. And that 0.7 is a 0.7 second pause before the cut sequence starts moving. This allows the plasma cutter to stabilize the arc and get through the cut before moving. If you don't do this, you're going to have failed cuts. Now that our file's saved, we're going to hit run with the plasma cutter not connected to the CNC just to make sure everything looks correct. And in this case, everything looks great. We're going to plug it in and hit run. That's basically it, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope this helps you guys create a super cheap plasma cutter you can set up and take down in your garage. If I forgot anything in this video, drop a comment down and I'll answer your questions. Um, if you're going to purchase any of this equipment off of Pimu, I'd appreciate if you downloaded it through my link in the description. Um, yeah, and if you like this kind of stuff, subscribe. I plan on making a lot more videos of the stuff I'm doing in my garage.